Hi, I'm Kirsty. And I'm Naomi. And, and this is Small, this small Talk. Small talk. <laughs> yes, we nailed no, it. Not, no, wait, did we? Yeah, okay. I think that was in sync. Well, hi everyone. Okay. We're not cutting that out, so <laughs> we were just practicing our <laughs> new intro. Yeah, I think that was a slight delay, so for me it didn't sound like it was in sync, but if it was, I'm gonna believe you. Okay, I'm pretty sure so it was. was. Okay, okay so Perfect. this week we are talking about some Pavlovian, I believe that's how you say it, Pavlovian yeah. responses that we that we have. So that's for people that don't know who Pavlov is or what Pavlovian responses are. Um, it's like a conditioned response and his infamous experiment is the dog with food so basically it's a quick brief is that at the start the dog sees food and has saliva like salivates and then there's a dog with a bell and then there's no saliva and then so then he does the dog with food and a bell and there's saliva so then when he takes the food away and there's a dog with a bell and there's saliva and that's it there's way more science Having to it, studied but. psychology the way you explain that just made me really upset but it's okay. You've got like a summary, down. a summary of okay. what the experiment is, so then they can no, go and it research it. Okay, that's fair. Then it's like no, a conditioned response. Yes, so there you go. Yeah, I feel like people know what that means nowadays. Surely. Yeah. No, they understand. So I'm yeah. Just so, so used to hearing it, like yeah. I'll like explain more thoroughly. Yeah. We only have twenty minutes here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. I for this one we were it's quite hard to think of different things to do because you don't notice things that you're conditioned to do yeah, exactly. and when someone tells you like you notice them randomly so when tem- someone tells you like what do you do you're like oh I don't actually know I don't like, know. You need, to, yeah. need to think about it so mm-hmm. I went to good old reddit for this <laughs> and okay. had a little bit of a dig about to see if I could find anything that inspired me to think of things that I do and actually it worked quite successfully or Quora I right. think is another one one of those question sites or like Ask Jeeves but okay. I don't use that one so the first one that I came up with is one that I think a lot of people probably have um, and that is like when people clear their throat it makes you like feel like you're in trouble you're like oh yep I yep. did something wrong, <laughs> yeah. and I definitely still when do that. People say like, or when they say like, "Can I talk to you?" or "We need to talk." Yeah, or "Can you come with me?" I'm like, Ooh. yeah, literally going Ooh. through every single bad thing I've done in my entire life. <laughs> I'm like, oh, nope, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, literally. So yeah, that's the that's the really like, what do you say, generic generic one I have. Yeah. But I'll go with my other one. This is, I'll say two, and then you can go for one. This is my other one, but I don't know if this is a conditioned response or an allergy, but I'm going to say it anyway. So basically, every time I have mint, but not like mint from a garden, but like something mint flavored, not really mint tea, but but yeah, mint sweets or like mint chewing gum, something that's like quite strong. (laughs) What? Did you say mojitos? Mojitos. I don't think it's I don't think it's ever happened with mojito either because it's not a strong mint. It has That's to be fair. like yeah. really strong. And maybe it's a chemical in it or something. But basically every yeah. time I have that I sneeze and I don't know if that's like but then I don't know if that's a conditioned response because I don't know if that's because of something in the past. I think it's probably just an allergy. So but I just wanted maybe. to put that one out there. <laughs> just in case. Maybe get maybe get tested and then if it's not an allergy, then you know it's like a conditioned thing that you've just yeah. started doing now you can't stop. So weird. It happens without fail every time. Do you have yeah. one Naomi, that you want to put out there? I really struggle with this because I wasn't smart like you and I didn't go to the interwebs <laughs> for research. Um, and I think because I'm so used to like hearing Pavlov in the context psychology. of like, yeah, of psychology and like with the experiment with the mm-hmm. dog, I can only think of it like in regards to food. So my one that I have is really weird. So I, I really don't want to say this now because I feel like it sounds really dumb. But no, I it doesn't. Certain... It does. Okay. Everyone's well, opinions audience... are. <laughs> Everyone's experience. The audience can be the judge. <laughs> After I say it, write down in the show notes or on the forum on the website if you think I'm being dumb or not. <laughs> so mine is like if I have certain friends that I like meet up with, and we tend to do specific things together, like we'll go out together for like a dinner or a very specific mm-hmm. meal, I'll then start to associate that friend with that food. So say if I have one friend and we always go for Nando's together, yeah. whenever they will like text me and be like, hey, let's meet up, I'll immediately start craving Nando's. 
So then when we meet up, we have to go to Nando's because I'm like, you asked me to meet up a week ago. And I've been craving Nando's since then. Ever so you since. You can't change plans now because I've been looking oh forward God. to this Nando's. We have to have Nando's. That's funny. So, Do you associate me with a, no, with a food place? No, because I don't really feel like we've met up no, that many times food. we've done like a specific thing. Yeah. No, it's always quite yeah. varied. Exactly. So like some friends, I'm like Nando's. Other friends, I'm like Spoons, which is difficult because I'm trying to boycott Spoons now. Oh yeah, the talk word. That's the whole, that's the whole thing. So now I'm like, let, let me change my Pavlovian response <laughs> to a different restaurant. Well, if you just start going with them somewhere else all the time and you always go, do you know what I mean? Like if yeah. they want to boycott it yeah. too, then it works in your favor. That's a good one. Yeah. That, that, is, that, that was my only one I could think of. Do they of. know though? <laughs> do they know that they are those? Did someone just honk at you? Yeah. No, I think you? they were just honking in general, but I'd like to think they were honking oh, right okay. at Okay. <laughs> now he's walking <laughs> home for the people listening. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah I do. I do London. <laughs> yeah. No, someone just drove a car through my house. That's what happened. Yeah. And honked. <laughs> no. um, I don't know if they know. I'll ca- caught I'll ca- I'll ca- on tape. <laughs> Oh God, yeah. I don't yeah do know they, if know? they know what their specific foods are? I don't know. That's maybe funny. if they listen to this, then they're gonna be like, "I know what my food is." I'm not gonna say. Or oh, yeah, God. or they'll be like, "Oh my God, she all. That's why she always wants to go." <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> they'll be like, she always literally. wants to go there with us. Because I don't yeah. have that, but I have one friend. Like she, oh, well, she knows this. But I have one friend who we always went to Pizza Hut together after school when we were younger. But right. I suppose that wasn't the only thing we did because she's my best friend. So we did other, we go other places other days. But I did, we yeah. did, that was like our rule that we had, we could only go together and we couldn't go with other people. But now we, wow. now we like go with others. <laughs> now we branch yeah. out. Her yeah, I've never been that strict. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, I've never been that strict once. that like no one else can come. But it might mm. be like, oh, we'll meet up to go to the cinema. And then it'll be like, should we have a Nando's first? Or <laughs> let's go shopping. <laughs> Okay, and then afterwards we can have a Nando's, right? <laughs> this sounds like you have a Nando's addiction, to be honest. It might just be that. I think I'm just Nando. outing myself. It might just be a Nando's addiction. Oh, it's not actually a Pavlovian so response. I really kill one. Same. I really missed it. Oh, so sad. <sighs> anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah that so was the one I could think of. <laughs> so mine, I have some food ones as well. So... One I was thinking about is coffee being energy. And I know like before people think I'm stupid, like I know that coffee and caffeine, like it does give you energy, but I've started mm-hmm. switching to decaf coffee a lot just because I actually like the taste of coffee and I just don't need the caffeine sometimes. And yeah. um, I find that I still feel like more energetic and awake when I have decaf. So I think it's like a placebo effect. So I feel like I've like, placebo, yeah, I think so. Convinced myself. I've probably yes. responded to myself. <laughs> yeah. I've conditioned myself to think that I'm like energetic <laughs> when I yeah like once you have the, the like the smell of or the taste of the coffee yeah then your brain is just like oh yes energy or even just like going into a cafe you're like oh I'm I'm more awake it's weird oh wow that's quite cool yeah. though because then you're saving yourself from like you know all the caffeine yeah, which is, is good actually good to be fair because so, I totally a got thing. a caffeine addiction in summer when we worked at the summer camp as well that's oh, not their fault yeah. I'm not like saying they were to blame for that or anything just FYI for anyone listening to be fair I think I did as well just because the days were so long like because it was so, like on tap up. as well you could just get yeah. it whenever oh, yeah. you wanted literally whenever it was so yeah. dangerous because I, I had one night I've ever drunk so much coffee in my life yeah <laughs> no I had one night though where I went out for dinner with um, mm-hmm. some of the other people we were working with, like when I was on a, like one of the, I don't know how to explain it without saying the camp, on one of the camps that wasn't like on site. And um, right. I like went for, I went out for dinner that night and I hadn't had a coffee that day because I just hadn't fit it in. And I'd been really busy that day. And yeah. uh, <laughs> and I was at dinner and I could feel my whole body like drooping. Just and I had crashing, to go to the yeah. bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom and splash cold water on my face. Oh, and then I was it. like, to, yeah, I was with Natalie. And I shout out to Natalie. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Natalie, do you want to go and see, do you really want to go and see Toy Story, well, well, Toy Story 4? Yeah. Toy and Story I was like, do you really want to go and yeah. see Toy Story 4? And she was like, yeah. Because I wanted her to be like, no, it's fine. Don't worry. Let's go to bed. And, uh, and then yeah. Natalie's just like, typical Scottish Dundonian. She was like, yeah, I do. And I was like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're going. 
And I was you like, okay, it's fine. No, I, I ended up getting a coffee at the restaurant. Trusty Tim So Hortons. then I like ordered a coffee from the restaurant. I was like to the guy, do you have any, like it was literally like a pizza place. Of course they have coffee. But he was yeah. like, do you have any coffee? And then I, he was like, oh yeah, of course. Like, what, what do you want? And I was like, just black. Just black, please. <laughs> just black is, just give me the black shot. One. And yeah. it straight And then when he brought veins. it over, I don't think anyone's ever been so happy about a coffee. Oh like I was God. like, oh, thank you so much. This is the best. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. And people were like, what the fuck? The guy was looking this? at me like, are you okay? Oh, I survived for Luckily, I wasn't mm. driving that day, or I think that would have been a hot mess. But yeah, it's fine because I wasn't. Don't drive. Don't Honestly, drive with your tired kids. Toy Story 4 is worth it. Oh, movie. yeah, so good. Not as good as the original, but it's still, it's still good. No, the first, yeah. I still liked it. But Toy Story isn't one of those series where, like, they get considerably worse with every new one. Like, no, each I feel of the like subsequent still... ones are still good. Yeah, they're still they're still up there. Um, mm-hmm. My other food one is this one. People are probably going to judge me for. So you've judged Naomi, so now you can judge me. We'll be on equal <laughs> equal playing field. Yeah. Um. So I don't like chocolate, which people probably don't know that I'm listening to this. That just disgusts me so much. But yeah, I've not like chocolate. I guess maybe when I was really young, I liked it, but I haven't liked chocolate for a long time. And um, every time I see, in particular, a chocolate cake, I have like a gag reflex. <sighs> See, we are um, the opposite people because chocolate yeah. cake, man. And honestly, I think I'm like the dog. I see chocolate cake and I salivate yeah. instantly. Honestly, it's from yeah. the it's from the scene in Matilda with Br- what's his name, Bruce Bogtrotter. Bruce, yeah. Bruce oh, yeah. That, that cake, scene man. just I yep. think that scene actually slowly put me off chocolate in general for for good. And then because I tried it yeah. after, that, and every time I like felt sick when I had it, and I was like, nope, this is not it. And um, yeah, that, we are literally yeah, the opposite people. <laughs> Well, tell what are you doing. Oh, who are you trying to be? That cake. I'm sorry, I can't agree with you on that one no, at all. That creepy that lady. cake of my dreams. Uh, no, yeah, creepy lady yes. and the sweatiness. Oh, hey, the lady, sweet. perhaps not. Perhaps not. Mm-hmm. But that, that chocolate scene. cake. Oh, yeah. I can't even watch it. I've got to skip it still. I'm like, get to him until then. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> skip. Oh gosh. Skip, skip. Horrible. Oh my God. Good film, no. I really like Matilda. <laughs> Great film. Imagine being traumatized by a chocolate cake. Wow. Mm. It's That's time. intense. You should do something <laughs> and about then that. My other wait, I have two more. These are kind of related, I okay. feel like. So I have one that's saying ow, but I think most people have that. So like, I think most people do. I feel like even when you don't get hurt, you just your natural response is to say ow. This morning yeah. I um, I had a sunburn on my leg, good job me. And um I poured I'm so dumb sometimes. I poured like boiling hot water out of the pan. You know how sometimes you do it at the side of the basin because you don't want it to yep. go in the basin but like into the sink right right right. and instead i like poured yep. the wrong direction so i was like half asleep and it landed oh. on my leg on my sunburn Oof. and it didn't really like it Ouch. hurt but like wasn't that bad and i was like ow like really dramatically and yeah no came, you know no one came running so thanks mom and dad but wow. i was just like the respect why did low. i react like that yeah and my other one is yeah ducking whenever someone is like someone not someone <laughs> someone's in the air something oh god is in the air near me like a like if it's a ball or a frisbee or something and i feel like that's just like growing up i played football when i was younger and i used to always have oh my gosh my mic keeps falling and i used to always <laughs> have um they always wanted us to do like header training and i hated it so much and i was so scared of like hit, getting hit in the face by the ball and now i think i'm just yeah. so paranoid of that I don't know. I've, to be mm. fair, it hasn't happened in a while, but to be fair, I've not really been at any parks or anything recently. But when I was a kid, I remember yeah. always being in the playground and being like, uh, uh. <laughs> "Sorry, people can't protect see me." Protect the skull. Protect the like, skull. Doing, yeah. yeah, like reacting. I'm like, "Oh yeah, you can totally see what I'm doing, but you really get." <laughs> like, I mean, I can see, and I'm very entertained. Yeah. It's okay. To be so, fair, yeah. when you say the thing about saying "ouch" to stuff, I I feel like I do a similar thing, but I say "sorry." so i'll like drop something and then i'll yeah. apologize i'm like who who am i talking to like i was making something this morning because i like to make clothes and i was pinning yeah. something to myself and i pricked myself in the chest you apologize and said, to yourself. Sorry? why what's wrong with me <laughs> that's that? a good self-worth though to apologize to yourself is it or am i just stupid it means you value know. yourself <laughs> it means you value yourself as a person half of me values myself to apologize the other half doesn't because i stab myself so, directly yeah. in the chest <laughs> yeah <laughs> neither have you did it in the first place so yeah the two different halves of my brain i guess yeah <laughs> going at each other 
yeah. sweet so yeah so that was our take on the question also if you want to send us questions that's fun if not I love the random question generator website. It's really fun. Honestly, it's great. I love just it seeing the things it comes up to. And maybe one day we'll just like have someone random on the podcast and be like, and just ask them a random question and they just have to answer yeah. on the spot. The first thing That'd that comes fun. to their brain. Mm-hmm. That'd be entertaining. Because we do prep these a little bit. We don't prep them that well, obviously, but. <laughs> yeah, we, no, we do a lot. Of we tr- we yeah. try. We try. <laughs> so yeah. You can always and- succeed. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for listening. to small talk and you can listen to us again next wednesday at some time was up sometime on a wednesday sometime in the day sometime between midnight and midnight (laughs) yes perfect um yeah and next week we are talking about we already know look at this we're foreshadowing we are talking about why society has started to place such a high value on emotions so stay yes. tuned for nice that deep one. one. That's going to be so, a good one. Yeah, it's, a, it's going to be a good one. Uh, and obviously, <laughs> follow us on Instagram at Fancy of Leather and check out our website. We have a really cool thing coming soon on our website. Well, when I say soon, maybe like it'll probably be a month, but <laughs> that's soonish. Yeah. Well, um, we do so have a YouTube video coming out, yes, because we have yeah. that makeup series that we're doing and it's ready to go up. So. Dang, Look up exciting. For Look out. Very exciting. It's a good time. Laugh at me mm-hmm. being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.